I'm Jenny Fusillo with Major League Lacrosse, and with the 2015 season fast approaching, I'm here talking with Evan Washburn about the Rochester Rattlers. Evan, how are you doing today? I'm doing well, thanks. Now, Evan, the Rochester Rattlers are coming off a great 2014 season, but unfortunately, a lot of their key players are still playing indoor when they start this year. How can they get off on the right foot missing key players such as Mark Cockerton? Uh, I think Tim Sudan, the head coach and decision maker, GM, will be tested. Uh, what kind of roster will he have put together with the player pool of supplemental draft, knowing guys would be missing early in the season? Now, the most important thing is they have Jordan Wolf, uh, who I think is poised to be an MVP this season. I just think his game um, is so explosive, and he's such a tough cover, and he does everything well. Um, now, he will be facing his first season without that college prep, if you will, where you're working out most of the time, and he's got a full-time job in New York. But from all reports I've heard, he is as committed to the game as he's ever been, and he's just excited to play. So with Jordan Wolf, I think they're in a great position. Um, now, they can't do things single-handedly, but uh, having a, a goalie like John Galloway, now he's a coach, but I think he'd be able to get there for a Sunday game. In key positions, they should be okay. So while they might not start out as hot as they finished last year, I don't think they're going to put themselves in a position uh, where they lose so much that they can't find their way back once they get all their players. Now, you mentioned John Galloway, who was the 2014 goaltender of the year. What can we expect from him in the defense? Their defense is fun. I played defense in college, and, and that's one of the areas of the game that I enjoy watching the most. And it's a real challenge at the major league lacrosse level, not just because of the talented offensive players that these guys see, but it's no secret. They just don't have a lot of time to practice with one, one, one another. And when a defense is really working well, it's one unit. It's, it's, it's three close, a pole, two short sticks, and a goalie all on a string. So every move is counterbalanced by – the guy behind you. And, and if you watch Rochester play defense, they play at that type of level. And it starts with John Galloway and Cage, unbelievable communicator, great stopper, obviously. And then he's got a player in Mike Manley who does so many things, whether it's cover the ball, pick the ball up off the ground, spark transition. And then he's got role players. And, and uh, John Laid is a guy no one really talks about, but is just as solid as can be. And, and uh, Joel White, as a long pole, has improved as an on-ball defender. And his like a vacuum on the field, just picking up ground balls and, and sparking transitions. So their defense, I think, at least based off of last year, and I wouldn't expect a real drop off this year, is is the best in the league. Um, and John Galloway is a big reason why, because anyone who knows this game, it all starts with what your keeper's doing, not only stopping the ball, but communicating what you guys are doing defensively. Now, you talked about their exciting finish. They were within one goal last year of beating Denver. Do you think they can get back to that point? I do. Uh, my preseason poll has them number one in Major League Lacrosse, and I think that if they can maintain the hunger, the attitude, and, and these are things that have nothing to do with the game of lacrosse, but are important in this league because of um, the somewhat disjointed uh, reality that is uh, the team. I mean, these guys are flying into Rochester from all parts of the country. Some do live there, like Mike Manley, but for the most part, they're meeting on a Thursday or Friday and then spending the weekend together. And some teams find that uh, challenging and it affects their chemistry on and off the field. Others totally embrace it. And Rochester totally embraced it last year. And it translated into incredible play on the field. Off the field, they were um, all brothers. And, and I think in conversations with Tim Sudan leading up to the draft, that's all he's concerned about. He wants to make sure this team keeps that identity where no one player is more important than the other, that they're all about coming in on weekends, working as hard as possible, winning games, and having a blast. If they can do that again, I think with another year of Jordan Wolf's development, if he can maintain and exceed his level of last year, I think they should be champions in Major League Lacrosse. They're my pick right now.